Lewis, you've been at TNS for a number of years now. In fact, you started with the under 12s academy. How did that happen? Uh, so one evening, uh, me and my mum came down and saw an email come through from TNS um, asking about trials, and I thought nothing of it. You know, I just, I just came down and we had a little talk with uh, the manager at the time, and. Um, and it started from all, all there really um, and then we came down to the trial came down to the day and um, I really enjoyed it I loved it you know they had 3G then as well so I thought oh this is unbelievable this and you know because we had grass around our areas then um, and then it just took off from there really and uh, yeah so they asked me I think it was the, the session after that one they said you know would you, you fancy like signing and uh, yeah so I, I signed that the day after the, my first trial so yeah and the under 12s became the 13s, 14s, 15s. And recently you signed a one year professional contract with the club. Yeah, so uh, every year, you know, you have, your, you have your catch up after every season's finished. And uh, they asked me after the under 12s, but you signed for the 13s. And then it just carried on and carried on and carried on. And um, it got to 16s. And obviously, then they ask you, you know, would you like to sign on for our scholarship? And we had a lot of chats you know at home and we had a lot of chats here with all the coaching staff and you know what would that be something I'd like to do and I thought nothing of it you know I've been here since I'm under 12 so why not carry on the journey and um, so yeah so I did my first two years and unbelievable experience with the scholarship you know playing in some amazing games and, um, and then I signed for my first year scholar uh, first year uh, pro sorry so yeah so it's really good really good and how did that feel when the club said, we want you to sign? That must have been a, uh, an incredible experience. Amazing, Rev. Amazing. Um, you know, to, to finally do what every lad signs mm. to CNS to do. You know, at under 12s, I never thought I'd be sat in that, you know, office with uh, Scott mm. saying, you know, we'd like to sign you for your first year, for year pro. And, and now to look back at it, I think it's, it's ridiculous, you know, to think that, if I wasn't to sign under 12s, where would I be now? So, unbelievable, unbelievable ref, yeah, really good. And the training as well, you've got Paul Whitfield, the goalkeeping coach, Connor Roberts, although he's on loan, yeah. still around the club, yeah, yeah. of course, and Paul Harrison, great characters for you as a young player to be learning from. Yeah, yeah, both of them. Uh, you know, even the goalkeeping coach, Paul, he's got a lot of experience that... I do need um, being 18 coming up to uh, to my first year pro. Um, Connor, you know, he's he's coached me since I first was uh, first joined the scholarship. Um, so he's coached me for two seasons now, and um, and now you know, it's he's a keeper, but also you know he's trying to coach me at the same time because he's been in them coaching shoes before. Um, Paul, I've worked with since I was 16. Um, you know, so. It's, it's all coming to play now because I was lucky enough to train at 16s uh, to come with the first team, you know, to train with the keepers. Um, and now, you know, being at 18 and I've had a lot of contact time with both keepers and also Paul Whitfield as well. Um, but like you said, the two really, really good keepers who I can think will progress me further in my career. Um, you know, so all the alone time we have with our goalkeeper coach, you know, all them times when we're away on our own. Um, is only going to make me better and especially having them too it's uh, yeah, really good really good and although every player wants to play of course you are a youngster you're still learning you've been around the side in the European campaign how important is that as part of your development not necessarily playing but still being part of the setup oh massive ref massive um, you know to have opportunities like that at 18 is you know every boy's dream um, to even warm up on a on a European night, it's just something that just no player can actually tell you how it feels because you just you just can't you know put into words what it is to even warm up and looking over you know at these other teams you know like Kosovo and like Copenhagen and even watching them train you know it's just unbelievable to think that you're on the same pitch with these players. Um, the goalkeeping area, you know, it's a little bit different on European nights. If I'm being honest, you know, it's a bit like we've got to work harder and you know even. You know, it's, it's the little things, the, te the technical stuff, you know, that we get clips of and we, we look at and it's just all a massive experience for me. Um, <clears throat> like you said, you know, you, you're not, I'm not on the starting 11 yet, um, but at 18 years old on the bench is still massive, you know. Um, but again, it's a massive experience. Um, everything, you know, I, I keep on just doing in my stride. I've got to be patient. Um, you know, I've got to keep on working hard in training. That's the biggest thing for me at the moment is just keep on working hard and keep improving. And we'll see where it goes, you know. Um, 
but even on match days, you know, even being a part of that, you know, shooting at the start of games and even being with H, hey, just, just massive, massive experiences that I just, I'm just loving at the moment. Really, I'm enjoying. And as we push on into the season, I guess it's still much of the same, developing your confidence, developing your ability as part of the wider squad at the New Saints. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, I just need to keep on working hard and training, like I said. Um, need to keep on, you know, keep on Scott's toes and keep on wanting to improve, keep on doing everything that I can to try and help me progress in the game. Um, you know, it's my first year pro, it's, it's very early stages in my career. Um, but again, not a lot of people get this opportunity that I have to have this first year pro. So I have to grasp it as much as I can. I've got to improve every day and just try and work my absolute hardest to try and stay at CNS for another year. You know, because you've got to think long term as well as short term is, yes, it's a year pro, but a year does go very quickly. And mm. I've got to think, is it in, I do I want another year here? Of course I do, of course I do. So take this year, keep on improving and see where it takes you. Lewis, thank you for our chat this morning. A great insight into your own development, your own career here at TNS. And of course, everyone wishes you the very, very best for the future. Thank you very much, Beth.